Welcome back. 12 minutes after the hour. Christmas Day has come and gone with no sign of North Korea's quote unquote Christmas gift. The veiled threat had many experts bracing for a missile launch, but the U.S. is not letting its guard down just here to, yet. Yeah, here to break down what's coming next. Vice President for Foreign Policy at the Heritage Foundation, James Carafano. James, this Christmas gift didn't happen. All was quiet on the Korean Peninsula. Uh, but why do you think this threat was even made in the first place? And what should the president's next move be? Yeah, so I have two rules. One is never deal with North Korea thinking that you know what they're going to do next and never deal with North Korea thinking that you know what they're thinking. So it's a very opaque regime uh, and the, they don't even have a very good track record of sending signals to the world on what they're really going to plan and do. And they do they do try to play us. So the, all the United States can do is be consistent as a negotiating position. Good for the U.S. that they sent uh, now Deputy Secretary Began over to Asia to basically send a message that, look, if you do something, let me tell you how the U.S. is going to respond. We're going to double down on what we're doing. That means more sanctions, possibly military demonstrations. So, so you will gain nothing for being provocative. So far, the North Koreans have, have honored that, but we don't know what's going to come next. Yeah. Here's what the president had to say on this possible Christmas gift. Take a listen. We'll find out what the surprise is, and we'll deal with it very successfully. And let's see what happens. Uh, everybody's got surprises for me, but let's see what happens. I handle them as they come along. Okay, the president says he'll handle it as we go along. Is there a solution, James, that really does satisfy both sides? Well, look, from the U.S. perspective, we have two concerns. There's not a war in Northeast Asia that's bad for everybody, and North Korea doesn't have the capacity to really threaten us with nuclear blackmail. The, the strategy of maximum pressure, which includes nuclear deterrence, missile defense, conventional deterrence, the heavy sanctioning, which really keeps the regime from building out, we have to remember that protects our interests. The, the diplomatic option is a way for Kim to kind of get out of that box. So really it all does kind of rest in his court. He can either live with the status quo or he can offer denuclearization and normalization. That's the U.S. position. The single best thing the U.S. can do is remain consistent in that. Uh, former National Security Advisor John Bolton just slammed the president in that interview with Axios, saying that he doesn't think the president is really serious about denuclearization and says that the president basically isn't being uh, tough enough on Kim Jong-un. Uh, with that in mind, do you think, though, that, one, is he right? And has uh, the United States' relationship with North Korea uh, gotten better since the president came into office? Well, where John is correct, and he's been a consistent critic of this, is when we say maximum pressure, that doesn't mean that we're doing everything we can do to cut off the regime's access to the world and their access to cash. We can do more. And I think the, the difference between him and the president is John wanted to really crank that all the way. The United States put a lot of pressure on it. Obviously, it's working. Otherwise, Kim wouldn't be upset about it. Yeah. But But... Now we have options. If the North Koreans do do something, there is more pain that we can inflict on the regime, and they know that. James, in the 30 seconds we have remaining, obviously it's not just North Korea, a lot of other threats on top of the president's foreign policy priority list. What are they and what should we do? Well, we have to remember, North Korea and Iran, these are, these are linked together because if we gave North Korea a deal to you know, get out of jail free, then, then Iran would want the same deal. So the pressure on North Korea is a pressure on Iran. Right. Um, China, still re China is going to remain an ongoing competition in the United States. And to me, the wild card is always Putin and Russia, because he always just looks for opportunities. And you never know when he's going to stick his head out of the box and try something stupid. And, of course, also the potential drawdown of troops in Afghanistan, the Syria-Turkey situation, That's also right. one yeah. to be monitoring. It's going to be a busy year on so many fronts, not the least of Full which. Full employment for us. Yeah, yeah, there we what, go. What a good deal. There you go. James Carafano, thanks for getting up with us on the day after Christmas. We appreciate it. That's right. Thanks, you James. Bet.